Hello everyone, my name is Dan Wildman and today we are back in central Wisconsin exploring the trails around the area. So let's go. Do you see that? Now this is a tree. You can tell it's a tree by the way it is. Nice. Wait. Who's that over there? Do you see that? What's he doing? Excuse me, sir. Who are you? I'm Dan the Wild Man. Who are you? Oh. Back out west, they call me Breezy Steam. What brings you out to these parts? Oh, uh, just uh, exploring the wilderness. How about you? I'm a nature connoisseur myself. We, uh, my friends and I have a tradition back out west where we search for bars of soap made by the man himself, Dr. Squatch. Ever heard of him? No, I haven't. Oh, come on, son, let me introduce you. I've been foraging these lands for far too long. Squatch soap spawn. Sometimes out in your plain sight. Come here, boy. See that over there? Yeah, I think it's like on the tree. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Come on, come on. This here is pine tar. Luckily, for unintellectual men like me, they have the directions right here on the box. Three easy steps. Lather it up. Scrub yourself, mm. rinse and repeat. Okay. And it includes the scents. Rugged, woodsy, strong, just like a Squatch man should be. And it also features oatmeal and sand to get that dead skin off. Interesting, so just this Dr. Squatch guy just leaves him around in yes. the woods for people to find? It's like an Easter egg hunt for old men. But how is nobody else, like why does no one else know about this? It's a well-kept secret between the insiders. Not everybody gets the privilege to know about these Squatch soaps, but I really love an outdoorsman like yourself, and I wanted to share this secret with you. So maybe we could search together. That sounds like a great idea. Do you mind if I take a sniff? Oh, please do. How do they put pine tar into soap? See, the Squatch man himself, he has a very unique recipe for soaps like these. See, with pine tar, he'll sca scavenge pine trees and scrape the sap from the tree. And with that thick consistency, he will throw in some sand and oatmeal like it says on the bar. And he just lets it sit a while, it solidifies, and you can wash yourself with all that good nature. So you're telling me I can just smell like the wild? Absolutely! It's this like a miracle! This is amazing! I know! Let's go search for more! Alright! So as you know, we found pine tar in more of a woodsy area. And there are multiple varieties of squash bars. You got your fresh balls, you can typically find that around water areas. Yeah. And, one of my favorites... Oh, you smell that? I think so. My squash senses are tingling. Are yours? Is that what this feeling is? Oh yeah, my friend. We are close. This here is a deep tree. We have found another wood barrel bourbon. Okay. Once again, your directions here, and this one is oaky, spicy, and smooth. Just like a Squatch Man should be. Featuring Jimmy Redcorn and sand. Wanna give her a whiff? Heck yeah. All right. It's like sweet. I think this is my favorite one so far. Oh, 
Well, you're my favorite wild man so far. Well, thank you. You're my favorite wild oh, man so far. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Should we look right. for more? Yes, let's keep moving. Wait a second. My squatch senses are tingling. I think I'm getting the hang of this. You are! I feel it too! Woo! Right here. Cool, fresh aloe. You found one of these before? I actually have a few times, but that bar will never be as cool and fresh as you, my friend. Man, thank you, man. This is awesome. Let's see, natural, refreshing, crisp, just like a Squatch Man should be. Coconut oil. Mm-hmm, good for the skin. All right, sweet. Let's keep searching. All right. I'm beginning to get a conspicuous feeling. There is limited edition near. Limited edition? <laughs> Crazy Steve, what are you doing? <laughs> Check this out, it's Frosty Peppermint. Whoa. Brisk, relaxing, revitalizing. Ooh. Just like a Squatch Man should be. And to top it all off, peppermint oil in no grit. You feel this, it is like a cooling sensation all over your body. <sighs> well, Dan, we put in a good man's honest work today. Four bars in one day, that's a great success. Now, I hate to bring up a sore subject, but I've heard through the wild man grapevine that you've been struggling to find a wild woman. Yeah. I've heard okay. that you met with the love guru. I met him once before myself. Really? The one thing he didn't suggest, though, that ended up saving me was these grand soaps. They really help up your game. In fact, here comes a wild woman now. Oh, hello there! You'd like to give it a sniff? What is this? There is no better childhood memory than time spent laughing together. I never had a childhood. What are these? These gloves would be wonderful for February winters. Dad, I found them! D Dad? These gloves have me feeling some type of way. Some type of way that I feel on no ordinary day. I need to tickle! <laughs> Breezy Steve! Where are you? Yeah, I'm over here. Did you get the soap? Oh, of course I got the soap. Are you kidding me? All right, I'll come over to you. Oh, okay. I'm surprised you got it. She was pretty quick. Yeah, well, I am pretty quick. What do you got uh, behind your back? Well, 
Ah, don't take it personally, Dan, but I never had a father. Oh. You're the father figure that I have learned to look up to through this adventure, and I have no choice but to tickle you. Oh. You think you're going to save me like my father? wide receiver in high school. You are not a wild man. It is all over now. Breezy Steve, why? I'm not Breezy Steve anymore. What? I am the Tickle Monster. No, no. <laughs> the power of Squash compels you. <sighs> Where's he, Steve? It's, you have freed me from my trauma. Isn't that the beautiful thing about nature? You stand in the city on a crowded freeway. You are surrounded by chaos and unpredictable future, people and an unpredictable future. But out here in the wild, it's pretty much all the same. Every once in a while, you might see a bear eat a skunk. Where's he, Steve? You're back. Wild men forever. This has been Dan Wildman on another adventure. And Breezy Steve. Remember, you can always catch us in the wild. Stay wild, just like a Squatch man should be. Whoa!